Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a first impressions video for you all. It's on a newer foundation from the drugstore and I picked mine up from Priceline for about, I think it was just under $11 but that was when Priceline was doing the half price on Maybelline sale. So the foundation is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. There is 30ml in this bottle and I picked mine up in the shade 030 Sand. I'm a little bit unsure if it's going to match me just because it does look very, very peachy compared to my um, my fake tan. I did just apply fake tan last night, so this is before the developing layer has washed off. And I use a Bondi Sands fake tan in dark, if you were wondering. So on the back it says, Flawless Finish Foundation, Instant Even Tone, Better Looking Skin in 3 Weeks. The Vitamin Enriched Formula improves skin appearance, leaving it feeling energised and looking healthier as if renewed. All day wear, non-transfer, 30 mils and then made in France, and then just barcode and a bit of Maybelline's info. So it says instant even tone. I think every foundation would do that if it had some pigment to it. But I do like the fact that it has a pump and the bottle is quite heavy. I don't think you'd be able to travel with this bottle. Well, you could if you wanted, but I wouldn't nece necessarily say that it would be the best just because it is glass. So let's just see how we go. And yeah, the. The pump doesn't lock or anything like that, so if you lost the cap and you wanted to travel, you're screwed, basically. Um, but yeah, so let's see how we go with one pump, I guess. I'm going to shake it as well. I'm not too sure if you're supposed to, but I'm just going to, just in case. So, if you can see that dollop there, it's not super runny. It's not runny at all. I would say it's quite a thick foundation. So, I personally do prefer creamier in consistency than really runny. I don't know why, I just prefer that. I, I feel like I'm using less product. But yeah, so that's the size of one pump. And I'm quite happy with that. I feel like it's not too big, not too small. But let's see how we go on the face. And just to note, I haven't put any primer or anything like that on my face. I've just cleansed and moisturized, that is all. And I do have oily combination skin. So oily in the T-zone, normal on the cheeks, a few dry patches here and there. And I do have redness that I would like to be evened out as well. So yeah, let's see how we go. So I'm going to be buffing it in with a Real Techniques buffing brush. I love this brush. I really, really enjoy it. You can buy this from Priceline as well. It's super smooth in consistency. I really, really like it. I hope it's not too light actually. Because that would be quite embarrassing. It does seem quite orange from first impressions. It does seem quite orange from first impressions. It is blending out quite nicely though. Okay, this is so orange. <laughs> it is so orange, like ridiculously orange. Whatever. So I will definitely need a lot more. This is just one very, very thin layer. It has provided me with a nice coverage. I'm actually quite surprised with how much it has covered. It hasn't completely covered my redness but it has masked a lot of it, which I'm quite impressed by. Okay, so I have just put it on the other side of my face as well. Um, again, I'm really, really happy with the coverage. I feel like if you used a little, you could still cover your whole face because it is very, very thin in consistency when you're rubbing it through your fingers. It is quite a thin consistency, so you could really get a really, really thin layer if you wanted to. But I think that you could also build it up and get a more full coverage. So in regards to colour, it's definitely more on the peachy side. I wouldn't say it's orange, but it's definitely more on the peachy side of things. If it doesn't get more orange than this, I'll be happy with it. But if it gets more orange, then mmm. So basically, if it oxidizes, I won't be happy. But this has already been on the skin for long enough and it hasn't oxidized, so I am quite impressed so far. So I'm just going to go my, with my second layer. I've probably used about one and a half pumps on my face at the moment. So I would definitely say that my foundation now is more on the medium full coverage side. I am quite enjoying the coverage. I'm still a bit iffy about the color, but maybe it'll look better when I actually put like face makeup, eyebrows, lip product, you know. I must say I definitely feel like this foundation, it's not one of those foundations where you can just put on one layer on your face and then just apply it to where you need it. I do think it's one of those foundations where you need to do two layers on your entire face if you're going to do two layers. If you're not going to do two layers, that's fine. But if you do have like redness showing through after like a medium coverage or like blemishes showing through after a medium coverage, then I would recommend 
to do a whole second layer on your face just because it does seem very very light um, like in the patches where you don't apply more that's just from personal experience so yeah I'll definitely say upon second layer it is a lot more it's on the fuller side of medium coverage so yeah quite impressed so far um, to be fair it does look quite thick on the second layer like it's not too thick for nighttime but I would say for daytime it'd be too thick thick for my personal preference I would stick to one layer for the daytime so if you were looking for full coverage in the daytime that looks thin I don't think this is the foundation for you but if you're willing to wear two layers and you don't mind it looking a tiny bit thick I guess it would be okay um, I don't think I'm going to do a third layer purely because I don't think I need a third layer. So I am just going to leave it here. I am going to put on the rest of my makeup and I'll be back. It's currently 8.29. Okay guys, so I'm back. I've just put on my makeup. It's currently 10 minutes past 9. And I don't know, I'm actually quite liking how I look in the viewfinder. In real life, not so much. It just kind of looks a bit iffy. But on camera, I actually quite like how it looks, at least in the viewfinder. Now, when I was putting on my concealer, I used the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I just thought that it was the most complimentary because Maybelline, Maybelline's probably going to work the best. I put this on underneath my eyes. This generally creases on me sometimes, um, depending on what foundation I use, but it actually didn't crease underneath my eyes, which I'm very, very impressed by. Like, it didn't crease in the slightest. I did set it with powder because I always set my under eye with powder, but I haven't put... Um, any setting powder on the rest of my face. I'm not too sure if I want to. I do think I want to see how this foundation lasts without any powder at all. I do want to mention I really love the glow that the foundation gives my skin. Like on the tops of my cheekbones, like I'm wearing no highlighter whatsoever. And it's just giving my skin the most beautiful illuminosity. And it's not even claiming to be an illuminating foundation. Like it's definitely dry and it's definitely matte. But when I when I'm like, because my window's back there, when the light bounces on my face, it really does look very, very, very nice. And I am quite enjoying it at the moment. So yeah, I'm super, super impressed. Doesn't accentuate the pores, but it doesn't, look them, doesn't make them look any smaller. That's okay. And I don't know. I'm just quite happy at this point in time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go about my day. I'm going to actually get dressed and I will see you in a little bit. Hi guys, I'm back for another update. It's currently... 10:46. It is quite an early update, but I have noticed that my chin is getting relatively like the foundation set. Like on my cheeks it's set, but on my chin when I touch it, it transfers off onto my finger and it's like I don't know, like my chin doesn't get oily often. Like my nose is the first place to normally get oily and it doesn't have that effect there, but at the moment my chin just was very very oily and very very wet. I, I don't know, like, I haven't been eating, I haven't been drinking, I've just literally been, like, chilling in my room doing my homework, and, like, I was noticing that my chin was, like, all sticky, and, like, like, the foundation wasn't set at all, but it was set before, so I thought that was super, super strange, so I don't like to powder in first impressions, but I think that I kind of need to, um, yeah, so I'm gonna powder. I'm just going to do a light dusting in my T-zone using my Max Geo Fix Press Powder. Just because all my other powders, they are quite, they're either very, very light or they're transparent and they give me like a weird, funny white cast. So I don't like that. So I'm just going to do my T-zone. I'm not going to do my cheeks. My chin still feels relatively wet. Like this is weird. I am a little bit bummed that I had to touch up so soon. And that's so weird. Like... I would have understood if it was my nose, but because it was my chin, it's like, what the heck? Like, that never happens to me. So, eh, whatever. Um, yeah, so everything else does look relatively fine. Um, pores aren't accentuated. The foundation isn't oxidizing. Nothing like that. I can notice that my bronzer has faded a lot. Now, I'm not too sure why that is, but it has definitely faded a lot since my last update. At least I can tell, kind of. My contour is still there, but it's definitely not as strong as it was before. It was very, very dark before, I think, from memory. But yeah, so my my bronzer is fading, so that's not a good sign. And it is already starting to get oily, which also isn't a very, very good sign. But I am really, really liking how it looks. Like, camera-wise, I am really, really liking it. I was taking some selfies. I really, really do quite enjoy it, so far at least. So yeah, I'll check back with you in a little bit. 
Hi everyone, back for another update. It's like two minutes to two. So this foundation's been on since eight. So I don't know, five hours or something. Let me just tell you, this does not look good. Like after I powdered, it looked very, very, very cakey. And as the days went on, it's looked even more cakey, even though I haven't added more product. I don't know, I'm not digging it. I don't mind how it looks on camera. It's not the best, but I don't hate it either. It's kind of like, it looks really shit. In real life, it looks really shit. It's not like my AX1 where it looked iffy. Like this looks shit, like really, really shit. I don't know how to say it much more. It looks really, really, really shit. I liked it for the first, say, two hours, but after that, it's gone downhill since then. Like, mm-mm. It makes my pores look huge now. It hasn't kept me matte. Like, don't get me wrong, it's not terrible, but it's not good. It's just like, it's kind of shit, but if you own it and you don't really want to buy another one, you could kind of get away with it. But personally, I do own a lot of foundations, not to brag, I'm just being honest. I will most probably not reach for this very much at all. Purely because I do not like how it sits on my skin. Um, it also feels really, really sticky. Like, even after I powdered, generally if it feels sticky and I powder, the stickiness will go away for the rest of the day. But this one, the stickiness keeps coming back. And that is really gross. Um, but yeah, so far I'm not impressed whatsoever. My bronzer has definitely faded. I've had to retouch up on my contour. I don't know. At this point, there's nothing really much positive that I can say about this foundation. It does look quite decent on camera, at least in the viewfinder for me. But that's about it. So yeah, I will check back with you in a little bit. But I don't think that I'm going to wear this foundation till the end of the night. I think I'll be very, very surprised if I wear it till 4 o'clock. Okay guys, so I'm back with my final update on this foundation. Never for the life of my channel, and since I've been doing first impressions, have I taken off a foundation while it's still been daylight. It's still 3.15, so like the sun's still out. It's actually quite nice outside at the moment. It's not too hot, not too cold, da 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 da. But this foundation feels disgusting. It honestly feels so uncomfortable, and it's just... It's just so uncomfortable feeling and I don't like it whatsoever. I've never had a foundation made me feel like this. And oh my goodness. The only thing now I'm going to do is I'm going to do a transfer test. Should have done this at the start of the day, but whatever. Um, this is a clean tissue. I'm just going to... Oh, you can hear my sheep. <laughs> I'm just going to take a clean tissue. I'm not even going to touch that hard. I'll just use one finger. So like it definitely transfers. Like... Oh, you can hear my sheep again. <laughs> It's almost their lunchtime or dinner time, whatever you want to call it. Okay, no joke. I'm not going to continue to wear this foundation on my face. I do not like it. I do not like how it makes my skin look. It makes my pores look huge. It makes my nose look disgusting. It makes my upper lip look disgusting. It makes my chin feel disgusting. It's just, it's not a nice foundation. I don't like it. It's not cool. If you own it and you like it, that's great. If you want to buy it, I would say try something else. Like, try something else, girlfriend. Like, no, 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 no. Like, I must genuinely say I really don't like this foundation at all. And it is very, very, very rare for me to find a foundation that I don't like. You might not be able to detect it on camera, but I can definitely tell in real life. It does not look nice. I don't even like how it looks on camera anymore. I'm just not a big fan at all. This is coming off my face now. Um, I did take a flash photo before, which I'll insert somewhere around here. There wasn't much flashback, so that's good. If you're just needing a foundation for one or two hours, I think this might be okay for you. But if you want a foundation to last you the whole workday, this is not for you. I'm taking it off at 3.17, basically. That is not a full workday for me. I wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning or 6.30 in the morning. I get home at about 7.30 at night. This is not a foundation that's going to meet my needs. I don't like it whatsoever, and it's making me angry just talking about it because... Oh, and also the color. The color is so off, at least for me and my fake tanned skin. As you can see, my fake tan is a bit more green based, while the foundation is definitely more peach based. So it's more, if your fake tan is on the more orange side, maybe pick this. If my fake tan was more on the orange side and I just needed it for one or two hours, I might use this. But I don't see myself reaching for this foundation much, if ever again. 
And that is a very, very big statement for me to say that I probably would not reach for, a, for the foundation ever again. I see myself using it one more time because I do have a video planned using it, but I do not see myself using this foundation ever again because it, it just feels and looks disgusting. To be honest, completely, completely honest, I don't know if I'll try this foundation again. Um, besides the video that I do have planned where I'm going to be using the foundation. Besides that, I don't see myself using it again. But if in the event I do use it again and my opinions change, then I'll update the description box or something or you'll hear it in a favorites video. But I, to be honest, I really, really, really highly doubt it. Um, I've given this foundation as much chance as I physically can. I even use powder, which I don't normally do. I don't think it's nice. I don't think it's worth the money, even though it is quite affordable. Um, I do think the Bourjois Healthy Mix, the Max Factor Facefinity, they're so much better. And I would recommend those a lot more than I would recommend this. So those are my final opinions on this foundation. I hope you found it helpful. Definitely let me know down below if you've experienced the same thing or if you are going to buy it still and all that other cool stuff. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.